What's up everyone, my name is Dre Man and can I get a year? Right now I'm in Washington DC and I'm about to visit the African American Museum. But before I get into that, let's do the intro. I think one of the most important things is knowing exactly where you are from. I'm African American, so I was born in the Bronx, raised in the Bronx. Uh, all I pretty much know is New York City. My family comes from New York City. My grandfather's from the South. Uh, we don't have to go into the whole historical context of uh, being African American in America and what that means and how we got here, etc. But knowing the history of that, especially in the climate that we're in today, I'm not a fan of the current president. Uh, the climate that is today where there's a lot of intentional separation happening with inside all of the communities. Um, knowing exactly where you're from, especially when you're raising children like myself, is super important. So today I'm in Washington, D.C. with my family, my children, uh, and we are going to go to the African American Film Festival no, I'm sorry. We are going to go to the African American Museum where we'll get the opportunity to explore and truly, truly uh, understand where it is that we come from and the history of our people. like it's just being your authentic self and feeling like you're meant to be a part of something and being a part of a group that's what I think culture is so do you feel like anyone you could be part of that I think so if you your heart is really connected to it but yeah Today was such an amazing day. Um, it was eye-opening to visit the African American Museum and learn a bit more about a lot of the things that I've learned throughout the 31 years of my life um, from seeing the shackles that slaves once uh, were shackled with to stand walking past uh, one of the buses and it, it was it was a it was emotionally overwhelming at the same time and i'm honestly happy i got to experience something like this with in my lifetime with my children and my family um yeah i i think you know lately i've been kind of on this high of pushing your culture and pushing what you represent and who you are and your story. I have so many friends who come from so many different backgrounds and they're filmmakers and media makers and you know, whatever form of media that is, whether it's music or journalism or podcasting. And they don't really uh, share, share their story enough. Um, some of them do, don't get it wrong. I'm gonna say a solid 50% of them. They share their story and not just their story of their upbringing, but of their culture. Um, and they, they do it out of fear. They do it out of fear of people judging them. And the reality is, is that people are going to judge you no matter what you do. You can be the greatest person in the world and they'll still find a reason to judge you. They'll still find a reason to say things about you. Um, that's why it's important that you still share your story no matter what. Uh, when we talk about things like cultural appropriation, we, we worry about people trying to steal our identity. Like, I'm a huge fan of this New Zealand culture. Um, and they have this amazing tribal dance and I can't even remember the name of it right now And it's just beautiful and it's powerful and when people do this tribal dance It's especially done during like wedding ceremonies and, and funerals and it's powerful and, it, and it's like it evokes a certain type of emotion But in order for me to be a part of that culture and I have to I feel like I would have to travel to New Zealand live amongst the people and work to find acceptance amongst these people 
Uh, but until then, you know, I can just only be a fan of it and watch it from afar because I know nothing of it. I don't know what's the reasons that they do these tribal dances for. I just know that they do them. We're here to do several things. And if you know that you can teach people about your people um, and do it from a positive narr narrative and create this positive narrative around your people and your culture, um, it's your job to do so. You don't want some 60 to 80 year old white man sitting in the office talking about he thinks this is what black Americans should look like in film. No, no, he's completely removed, completely. And it's solely your job to make sure that you get out there as a filmmaker to produce content, whether it's YouTube videos or feature films or podcasts or music, that brings light to your culture and what it is that you do um and it doesn't just have to be a black culture it could be yeah if you're part of the lgbtq community it could be part of it could, if you're a woman and you're part of the women's rights movement or women's feminist movement whatever whatever culture it is or subculture that you are part of make sure that you're bringing awareness and you're doing it right me as a heterosexual male i don't feel comfortable writing films about people in the lgbtq community because i'm not part of that community i'm not part of that culture I'm just an ally. So that was my day. Um, yeah, I guess I'll sum this up by saying, um, don't be afraid to tell your story. Uh, everyone has a story. Everybody comes from somewhere. The beautiful thing about America is that it's just this cultural pot of different people from different places telling different stories. Um, and it's important that you tell your story because if anybody else tells that narrative, they're going to tell it from their lens. So why not tell it from one who has true accounts within that culture? Culture is the root of you. Culture is the root of me. Culture is the root of everyone. Without culture, we will not exist. Make sure you tell your story. It is your responsibility as a filmmaker to do so and to do it adequately. All right. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to announce that I am working on a feature film and it happens to be a documentary about rediscovering my culture as an African American. It's called Yellow Brick Road and I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this documentary through this channel. Um, my name is Dre Manning. This is Dollar in a Dream. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to the channel. And as I always say, nothing that I say matters if you don't get out there and apply. Just get out there and shoot your shot. Mario.